Hello, and welcome to Turkish Films Daily Chess, episode 30. We've done it. Episode a day for all of April. Let's get into it, guys. Blitz Chess, we are 1666. And we're playing 10-minute chess against a 1668. I'm excited. Currently, my value is uh, 8, uh, which isn't too crazy. He goes for the wing gambit. Uh, we're going to accept the gambit here. This is something that I'm not very familiar with, so we're going to have a little bit of trouble here. Uh, the martial variation, do I take again, or do I push b3? Hmm. I can also just defend the pawn, I think, right? e6 or e5? Uh, I think I'll go e5. Check captures threats. We're going to go for the center. Uh, so he's distracted my C pawn away so that he could play d4. But I'm disallowing d4 for the moment. Uh, and I'm trying to see if there's horrible consequences. He can get a tempo here uh, and then launch his center. Okay, he's going for the other side. This also, I think, makes some sense. Although I'm not super thrilled about <laughs> how he's just giving up all his pawns. Uh, I guess we'll take that pawn. He can't push here. Uh, it feels like I'm just a million pawns up in this position. So probably not super, super good for my opponent. Uh, I'm seeing that his center is going to maybe do that. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, I just want to get castled and say I'm a material here. Uh, it's, again, just this pawn that, I'm, that I really have to worry about. Uh, so I'm going to do this move. I'm going to play knight to e7 and try to castle. Uh, his king looks like it's going to be uh, in harm's way. So I'll bring the bishop back this way. And tuck it in if it needs to be tucked in. Because I think e5 is a move he was playing on playing. That was right. Yep. And he has a center. I'm happy for him. I'm castled and have a pawn, but he takes the pawn. Okay. So, what did you do when your opponent has a center? You take the center from them. We're going to do that with d5. Trying to disrupt his coordination. Uh, and I'm just up a pawn, like a permanent a permanent pawn, because I don't have any weaknesses, and this move kind of guarantees that. Uh, his king's open as well, so I could consider moves like this. Uh, knight, bishop there is also pretty. Basically, he gave me, he just gifted me a passed pawn in the opening. Um... And so I intend to take it. Uh, I intend to take it for sure. What is this move? I don't see what he's what he's what he's getting at. Uh, if I take this, he can take with the knight, and I I kind of wanted to play this move. If he plays this, I think I'd even just take and then take in the center because his king is super exposed. So my question is, do I play bishop g5 first, or do I take the pawn first? Hmm. Actually, if I take, he takes with the knight, then I'll take back, because he has to take with the bishop. Oh, I can't play f6. I can't play f6. Bishop g5, if he pushes, I can still take. And tactics? So we have no checks? Okay. Okay. We're going to pin this guy. So there's a little... No, he doesn't isolate my pawn. I thought he I thought he can push here to isolate a pawn. Uh, I want to take that except for the rook takes, doesn't it? So now I can take. It's a very good position, I think. Oh, maybe I should have played knight here first to protect this pawn further. Hmm. Because of this? Oh, but he can't move the knight yet. Okay, so that so where are his weaknesses? That's a weakness for now. Right? His center is kind of collapsed. Uh so if I can try to get at this pawn with my with a bishop move here. This diagonal is also weak, so this square is gonna be useful to me. He's trying to figure out how to take back. Taking with the pawn, I think trading queens is going to be good for me. Okay, he takes like this. 
Well, that, isn't this definitely good for me? Because I take, he takes with the pawn. I take his queen. He takes with the rook, and I take the knight. So his pawn structure is going to be horrible. Uh, and my pawn structure is going to be less horrible. Yeah, unless he's going to take here and try to say that there's something on this square, which there isn't. Okay. Continue with our plan. And his pawn structure is the worst pawn structure I've ever seen. Uh, and so we're going to try to take advantage of that. So my knight's going to go this way to attack the pawn. To attack that guy. You can't defend it like this. Uh, I kind of want to keep my knight here to keep him out of you know the central square. But yeah, no, I'm just up a pawn with a huge advantage in pawn structure. Uh, he wants to trade pawns? I think I'm okay with that, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take. I don't think I have another choice. Take. My knight wants to go there. Scoot my king to the side. I'm interested in where he's going to put his pieces. So he has a pawn hanging. Except for, that would, you know, hang, it, hang my checkmate <laughs> if I take this pawn right away. So I can't take it right away. Um, but yeah, we can, this is going to be super simple, super easy development here. Just playing normal moves. And this does weaken my pawn structure, uh, which is not ideal. But also if he takes this, uh, if he takes here and I take back, he has some weaknesses of his own, which he has to be careful for. Okay. Uh, so I wanted to play this move, but then after the trade, he can take here, takes here, and then there's, uh, and then there's that issue. So I could develop my knight. I like the idea of this. So I'm attacking this pawn twice. Uh, also, I can play g6 now to get my king out, because I don't really like that it's kind of back rank mated itself here. And so my moves are all coming with tempo, right? Like I'm, all my moves are kind of doing something. Uh, also, I'm defending his entry square here, which I like. Uh, okay, now I thought I could play this, because if the trade happens, and takes, takes. He still can't get at this pawn. I think that's right. So we're going to go here. Go after this guy. Yep. I gave him an opportunity to move his pieces. Uh, we don't have to trade. Yeah, we don't have to trade yet. Attacking me. I'm just up a pawn. So I should probably start pushing it, actually. Now that I think about it. So he's attacking this twice. His knight can land there if it wants to. Hmm. Here, here. Hmm. I don't know if I want to trade rooks or not. His pieces seem more active than mine because he has a bishop. If I get rid of that bishop, I'd be very, I'd be very happy. He's double, he's double attacking this. Although it's not the most relevant thing in the world. Oh, he can take this rook. So we should take his rook. Uh, I don't like that it makes his pieces good. Actually, I can take, and then I can go here. I think. Wait, if I go here, do I drop the pawn? I think I drop the pawn at the end. So I think we should play a6 first, and then we'll put our rook over here. If he plays knight there, I can't, because I lose my, I lose my rook to a fork. Uh, so if, if knight there, I'll go king here, and then play rook d8. Yeah, it just, just seems like a pawn at the moment. His rook can't really enter. 
Yeah, king g7 is going to be a nice move to play. I kind of want my king here to stop his rook from infiltrating on the on the d-file. Uh, he's deciding where to put his knight. If he puts it here, I can still play my move. Yep. And it's to move his... Oh, his rook can attack my, my b-pawn. I push my b-pawn, but then this pawn hangs. So I'll have to kick him out again. Hmm. Okay. So he's attacking this guy. Also, I can't go here because I lose my, my pieces. So I want to play b5. Because then my knight gets to a really good square. The problem is uh, that's not very good for... It's not very healthy for the rest of my pieces. So I'll just defend. Oh, no, I can play this. I can play this. There's no fork. I take with the uh, knight. Of course I take with the knight. Oh, now I don't take with the knight. <sighs> Wait, yes, I do. Of course I do. I take with the knight just the same. I'm going to move my king up. So I'm guessing his move is going to be this. Here. Here. And then there's still an issue with this, which is he can play knight there, sacking the exchange. Or is knight here still... Is knight to c4 still good because it threatens the fork over here? Okay, so he gets out of the fork. Move our king up. Is this the best spot, though, because we're still subject to checks? Actually, yeah, we're going to go here, and then we're going to put our knight there. If he checks me here, I'll just take it. And if he checks me here, I'll just take it. So knight f7 is the threat. I'll be attacking his piece twice. So, yeah, I think this, I think this doesn't work for him. This isn't working. And now I'm just up two pawns, which is great. So I need to get my knight to this... How does he attack my pawns? So that would defend one of my pawns. Here, and I can push both of them, I guess. King up with check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta watch out. I don't want to get checked unnecessarily. So we'll go here to stop his knight from coming in the game a little bit. And then I'll try to bring my king in like this. Uh, and that's the pawn that I really care about. It's up a pawn. I think this should be, especially if I can trade the knights off. If I can trade the knights off, it's super duper winning. Okay, so his plan is this, attacking the pawn. But I can keep running it up the board, so he never actually gets there, I don't think. If he goes here, i got to be a little bit careful, actually. <sighs> Rats. So what's our move? There loses this pawn. I'm, ah, I don't think I'm actually so concerned about this. So I'm going to play here. He can, I don't think he can actually get to the pawns. Or at least not to both of them. And if he helps me push one of them, then I'll actually defend it and push the other one. And my king will keep his king out. I'm expecting this thing. It's your move. And I don't know what my move is. His king can't move forward. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's right. Um, so knight there looks good to me to push to solidify the pawns. Because then I don't have to worry about the, uh, the checks and stuff. I can attack his pawn. Trading pawns though gets us closer to a draw. Oh, I have more pawns than he does, so trading pawns is good for me. Here, here. Oh, no, no, that doesn't work. So I was looking at I was looking at knight b5, knight a5, knight takes knight, knight takes knight. Uh, and I was thinking, can I defend this guy or not? I think I can. His king can't get over there. I think the trade's okay. He does end up attacking my pawn faster than me. But I actually can always defend it. I'd rather my knight not be on the edge of the board.
Okay. So we can attack the pawn. Oh no. He can't take that. If check will go here, this pawn's hanging. Otherwise that pawn's a runner. I mean, I'm not sure what he's gonna do. He's kind of running out of moves here, I think. I've gotta be careful though, cause his pawn's quite strong. All right, we'll go back. Gotta protect the pawn. This pawn's hanging. If he brings his king in, then I can take this pawn. I'll push this pawn first. Try to get a rise out of him. Take this pawn. Yeah, I don't know. I think my knight's fast enough. I think my knight's fast enough. If he tries to do this. Check. I'll take the pawn next. I have a lot more pawns than he does. Um, the question is, like, even if I could sack my knight for this pawn, I think I'm still might be winning. Uh, yeah, this is check. And I intend to take the pawn next move. I'll take that. Again, I really want to trade knights. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't take with the knight. That'd be a blunder, I think, because this comes too quickly. I think. All right, we'll go for this. He's going to go this way, I think. I'll force a trade of knights. He takes. Yep. And that's a resigns. Guys, we did it. So a strange opening for my opponent. I will not be rematching him. Uh, but it was a good game anyway. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We are now 1674. And this is the final game of Daily Chess in April. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, stay Turkish.